We've already done all of these and these. So we will see. Uh, that one's not available yet, so we've got these four to see today. today, I believe. Um, so we'll start with the Calistoga model. This home is one that has an optional casita. Uh, you can have it as a third bedroom or have it as a casita. So they'll close off the wall between the house and the casita. 2730 square feet. So it's either two or three bedrooms. Uh, 10 foot ceilings, three and a half baths, and three car garage. Let's take a look at the casita first. Really good size main room. You have bathroom and walk-in closets. Walk-in closet, I should say. There you go. And then I'll swing around here. You can see the bathroom. Good size space for your guests or as a third bedroom. So if it's not a casita, it's just a third bedroom, there normally would be a door here adjoining it to the rest of the house. Let's go take a look at the main house. I just love how this main room is so big and open. I love the vaults vaulted ceilings that they did. Uh, of course, the exposed beams would be an upgrade, but just how big and open the space is, is great. Kitchen is very upgraded. Nice, huge island for entertaining, eating at, enjoying company. I'm sure this is an upgrade, but beautiful upgrade. Love the hood. You have the built-in appliances, microwave and oven, and um, KitchenAid brand, of course, refrigerator, very nice. They also have a really nice, big walk-in pantry. All right, let's go check out some bedrooms. The den is also an option, or not an option, but it is part of the floor plan, standard. You can put doors on as an option. Yes, bedroom or bedroom three if it's not a casita house. Very nice. Secondary bathroom, good size. Again, I think there's a door normally between um, the, the wet side of the bathroom, if you will, and the vanity. Master bedroom. Frankly, the bathroom is a little small, but um, I think it's a good trade-off. I think there's a lot more space in the main part of the house, and I think this is a good Good uh, floor plans, nonetheless. Good size walk-in closet as well. Beautiful. Master bedroom is really good sized. I love all the windows for the natural light. 
Robert really likes the uh, landscaping out there with the hanging wine barrels. So cool. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the, the other end of the house. Pausing here a moment for a nice eat-in area. Take a look at the eat-in area. Adjoining to the living room, gathering space. I love the large doors, too, to open to the outside. So essentially what happens is the entire wall collapses back, almost. It'll all collapse back to about here. So the whole thing opens up. And as you can see out there, they've got it decked out. We'll just go ahead and open it and take a quick look. Like the waterfall is refilling or something. But I love how they made space, made use of this space. Oh, sorry, just catching catching the game real quick. Push, push. Closet there. Entry from the garage here. Robert, we'll show you the garage in just a moment. We also have a powder room here. I'll let you out to give them a quick tour. A good amount of space for a three-car garage even. So next feature and final room of the house is the laundry room. Um, a really good space, good amount of work space in here for laundry and crafts, uh, really anything that you want to do in here. There's plenty of space to do. It looks like they've got some really good um, cabinet options as well. All right, that finalizes our Calistoga tour.
in the St. Helena model, 2656 square feet. Again, 10 foot ceilings, single level, three car garage. This one has a bit of a spin on it. I'll show you more about the garage, or tell you more about the garage when we get over there. Two to four bedrooms, two and a half to four baths. Let's take a look. This of course is a study. Could be a bedroom, it's an option as a bedroom. Let's take a look at the dining. Oh, you love this grand entry. The other thing I love about this dining area is you can open up to the front porch, have your dining out on fresco. But it also connects with your butler's pantry. Large walk-in pantry is here. Opening up into your kitchen. Gorgeous kitchen. Again, a nice long island. You've got built-in appliances and a beverage center on that end. Dual ovens here. Wolf oven, uh, stove. Very nice. Got your recycling center. Soft clothes cabinets. This, of course, is an app option. Multi slide door. Here's where it gets interesting. You've got your garage door entry from your three car tandem garage or you can have an extended length two car garage with this flex room. Also known as the man cave. Or mom's hideout. Laundry room. Then we have the guest suite. Very good sized room, a bathroom. Even has a good sized walk in closet back here. Check out what they've done with this backyard. I love this. to the tour. My bad. Let's go back in. So let's not walk through this space without taking a moment, right? Beautiful. Good sized gathering area. Again, connects with the kitchen so you can be in the kitchen but still part of the action. 
Well done, Toll Brothers. Let's check out the master. Love the door out to the patio. Good size master, not overly huge, but a really good size. Love this natural stone floor. Whoops, kick that little guy. Separate tub and shower. Separate vanities, his and hers. Or his and his, or hers and hers. Separate vanity table, which is brilliant. Hello. Might be an option, but. And then this room they call the closet. Huge. So again, just to wrap up on this one, the um, options for as far as rooms go is uh, bedroom in lieu of the study, flex space in lieu of the third car tandem garage, uh, the additional bedroom, and I think that is going to be, um, I'll have to put a note below to find out where that would be, expanded garage depth of two foot, so that's great. So again, this is the St. Helena model. Two to four bedrooms, two and a half bath to four baths, three car garage or two car garage plus the set flex. All right, they had a model closed on us right now. So now we're around the corner to the Concord and Charlotte collection. The first model that we'll see for that collection. It's called the Midwood. 1913 square feet, two to three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage, single level, 10 foot ceilings again. We had a fun time finding that third bedroom. <laughs> It's actually part of an optional casita, which was really interesting to find. Come take a look. Very open floor plan. Again, they have a nice vaulted ceiling, so it feels even bigger. Great open kitchen. Very nice. Built-in appliances. Love how they tucked this pantry back here. Very cool. They offer the waterfall granite or a quartz, this may be quartz actually. And then also wall to wall, wrapping the window seals. That is so beautiful. Only thing on this end of the house is the garage, with the exception of one thing, which we'll come back to. Let's go take a look at the other bedroom. Very nice gathering space, by the way. Again, you have the dining area flowing into the gathering space. So everyone can be part of the action. Laundry room, no wasted space in there, but still very nicely sized. There's your half bath. Then you have your second bedroom with its own ensuite right here. A 
fact that they did a regular standard closet um, just helps lend to the size of the room. It leaves space for the room itself, so that's nice. Right here is the master. Very nice size master, beautiful windows for natural light. Here's your bathroom, along with walk-in closet. Walk-in closet back there. And then you have linen pantry here. Still good size space for walk-in shower. All right, so now that other room, Robert and I had fun, fun uh, finding it because there just doesn't look like there's room on the floor plan for that third bedroom. However, there's an optional guest casita. I'll show you where it's at. and we saw the window, but that's the garage. Ah, there it is. Come on into your guest casita. Uh, nice walk-in closet, of course their own bathroom, and then this really nice uh, kind of kitchenette area. You could easily do um, a cooking plate, a hot plate, a microwave in here for your guests. Uh, that way they have their own coffee bar, coffee maker also. So, very nice. One more model to see. I believe it's on the same collection as this one. Looks like a little bit larger home, so let's go take a look. All right, we're in the, the creme de la creme on this one. This is called the Hastings model, 3478 square feet, three bedroom, let me look at my notes, three and a half bath, three car garage. 
It is amazing. We are dubbing it the slider model. You'll find out how many, how many sliders. You count how many sliders there are. So this is a beautiful, warm, welcoming courtyard. As you can see, there's already quite a few sliders. This is a third car garage that they've converted over to a man cave. I'll show you that more in just a minute. Beautiful covered patio off of the entryway. This is the front door. We'll start here on the left with the bedrooms. Very nice laundry room, nice big laundry room for this size house. Beverage, beverage center right here. Okay, first bedroom, nice size walk-in closet. Has its own ensuite. Very nice. Another bedroom. We've got a walk in closet again. Ensuite. This is a great size room. Let's go check out this master suite. This master suite is a dreamy master suite. Love the little seating area in this space. Huge master bedroom. Then, down here, walk-in closet on this side, ginormous, goes all the way back, all the way that direction, all the way this direction, very nice. Huge walk-in shower, bathtub, and Slider to the outside, of course. It's your own oasis. It's your own spa area. Outdoor living area, living Dead. 
these are the sliders that meet in the middle. So you can open basically both walls up and have your office outdoors. So nice. This would be a perfect office for me. <laughs> All right, so the kitchen. What does it need? What can I say? It has it all. Has it all. Beautiful seating area. Again, you're part of the action when you're in the kitchen. Great dining space on this side as well. And again, another slider. How many have you counted so far? There's seven. And it comes with its own wine room. No, I'm sure it doesn't come with it, but here it is. Beautiful. Great, great use of the pantry. That's about it. Let's see what we have back here. Oh, it's the real pantry. There you go. Food pantry versus wine pantry. Very nice. Well, that concludes our model tour for today. Again, this is the Hastings floor plan. Uh, if you have questions, uh, just email us or call us. We can help answer any questions that you have.